Sarah Potempa's Beach Waver is not a new product. In fact, it is loved by millions of women across the globe. So today, I'm going to show you the best way to use it and who it's best for. The Beach Waver looks like a normal curling iron, but it's a little bit different in a few ways. First of all, it has a few buttons to choose from, so you can actually dictate how hot it gets, which is super important. And it has a left or right and a go button because it's going to automatically turn the way you want it to without having to turn your own wrist. And if you notice the clamp, it doesn't go all the way up the hair, so there's a special technique that you have to use. You just take your beach waver and you make sure the clamp is towards the end of the hair. So I'm on the right side of my head, I'm gonna press the right button, and then you're gonna press go, and it's gonna curl inward. And then unclamp a little bit so you can get the end of your hair, and voila. And you shouldn't let it sit there for more than five seconds. I am really satisfied with the curls that I'm getting because they look a little bit like ringlets, but they're gonna fall, and it's gonna create a really nice wave. All right, so now that I'm moving on to the left side of my face, I am going to press the L button. And what this is gonna do is make sure that when the barrel spins, it spins away from my face on this side. This took me about 10 minutes to curl my hair, which is actually longer than normal because I am so used to using a regular curling iron. However, I will say that I feel like the curls look a little bit more beachy. I really do like this product. I think it's a lot of fun and it's really convenient, especially if A, you're not good with the curling iron, B, you've never used a curling iron before, and C, maybe you're a lazy girl and you can't figure out how to create perfect beach waves. This is awesome. That being said, if you're a pro at using a curling iron, this might not be the best option for you. It's probably not a good option for you either if you have shorter layers in your hair. This is so easy. When you press go, it only stays on as long as you want it to. You can hold it down and have it keep going. It takes a little bit of practice, but don't be scared. The Beach Waver gets an A. It's practically fail-proof, and it's really fun to use too.